told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile and Yes, guys, finally, finally, I'm here at the Kakum National Park. So today, I'll show you what you need to know about the Kakum National Park. So I'll take you through the walkway. What is the history about the Kakum National Park? So stay with me here, Babadam here. But before I show you everything here, please, if you're new to this channel, please kindly do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell for more content on this channel. Babadam here. Without wasting much of your time, let's get inside to Kakum National Park. Okay, so guys, I'm about to enter inside the Kakum National Park. So here is the main entrance for Kakum National Park. So I'll go and find if I have to pay some money. So then the man was saying you people are not Ghanaian. I said yes i know that's what that, 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 that's okay that's so about well. good afternoon once again you are most welcome to kakum conservation area please my name is kofi i was born on friday and i'm your guide for this tour roughly it's an hour tour going there and coming back here but you'll be doing some more exercise by climbing some more here before we get to the destination so in case of any obstacles or when you're tired just drop my attention but i won't carry you i'll wait for you to rest <laughs> after we embark on but i'll give you a brief history about the park after climbing there okay no problem. Yeah. okay not just go okay, mm -hmm. okay. But we have two we have two main attractions here. We have the canopy okay, yeah. and the nature. The nature is about knowing the medicinal plants, the species of the plant, their culture as well. So when you are interested after the canopy, you can embark on that one too. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 You don't mind a call you. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, so you call your boundary line. The boundary line separate the primary forest from the secondary. And the only difference is that the secondary forest has been used for farming activities before. So the one we're about to enter is the primary forest. And from here going is the secondary forest. So the only difference is these trees has been cut down before and it has yeah. regenerated. But the one we're about to enter hasn't been used for any farming activities before. Yes, what is that? 
if you want to do hiking, uh, knowing the medicinal plant, and uh, you can use the other side. Then. Yes. Oh, square. Also, okay. ah, it's gone. No, sit down. Sit down, take some time. Made up of Kakum Conservation Area, which is Asin Atanansu Forest Reserve and Kakum Forest. They made up of Kakum Conservation Area. And the forest too has been surrounded by six political administrative districts. There are 52 villages here, and more than 400 hamlets around this conservation area. And hamlet is like a miniature of a village. Like a Nikla family, there are more than 400 around this conservation. Over here today, there are two main activities, which is the canopy and the nature walk. The nature walk is about knowing the medicinal plants, the species of the plant, their culture as well. But we are not doing the nature work, we are doing the canopy work. But you can choose to do the nature work after the canopy work. But that one is an extra cost. Please, over here, there are more than four globally endangered animals, excluding lions, because they normally live in savannah areas. And the animals, those with the horn and the antler, like the antelope family, they are not here because of the nature of this forest. But we only have two species of antelope family, which is bushback and royal antelope. But most of the animals here are nocturnal. Hardly to see them during the daytime. Because the noise that we do make, even the perfume that we are using, they also sense. So it scares them away. So it will be hardly for us to see some of the animals. But we can enjoy the sound nature of them as we are enjoying now. Please, the walkway was built in 1994 and commissioned in 1995. Ever since it was built, no accident has happened before. Because on daily basis, there is a technical team who makes sure it's in good condition for us to use. And it is made up of seven bridges with six resting points. So after every bridge, there is a resting point. But you can only decide when you get to the first resting point, which is the first platform. When you get there, you think you can't continue. There is a bypass on your left. When you want to do other bridges, you move to your right hand side. On your left, you just do two bridges, additional to this to make it three. On your right hand side, you do six, additional to this to make it seven. So you just evaluate yourself whilst working on the first bridge so that you could take a proper decision on the first platform. Your left hand side is 120 meters. On your right is 350 meters. But it all ends up at the same point. So please, we are not coming back again. There is a way out. It was built by eight people, two Canadians and six Ghanaians. But the Canadians, they are not here. But the Ghanaians, some of them are here. So they do maintenance each and every day. And the height of the bridge is 11 meters to 40 meters above the forest level. Shall we go? Okay, so you take the lead. Okay, so you follow.
Okay. Which one are they doing? Which one? Six on my right. No, this, this six. Six and two. Okay. Let's go for six. Okay. Okay, so keep going. Okay. Oh, you want me to take the lead? Take, take the lead. Uh -huh, you have it. Let me go. Let me go. Now. Come on. Wow. No way. The scarier ones are here, so if you think you can do, use here. Can you do? They said no. So you go. Yeah, go with them. We are using here, so I'll be meeting you. I'm going here with them. I am going here with them, so you go. Yeah. Without this. Without this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yes, so guys, at this moment, I myself and my friend was TV. As you can see, we were really enjoying the Kakum Kanopin walk with Batali. It wasn't easy, it was very scary and distant, but at, at the end of the day, we survived the Kakum walk way. But in case you are looking for the Kakum National Park, it is located in the central region of Ghana. So, in case you also want to visit the place, you can find Kakum National Park in the central region of Ghana. That is Cape Coast. So, <laughs> walking through the Kanopu walkway is not easy thing at all. It wasn't easy, especially... The thing is seven round, so I think the most dangerous one is the third one. The third and fourth is the dangerous walk path. I don't know if you have been here before. Let me know your experience on on you walking through the canopy walkway. But I think the third one is the most, I mean, fierce one yes because it is very long and the more you walk the more the thing is shaking itself so if you are not brave enough you may cry seriously you may cry pop, 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 pop. so but thank god i was i mean brave enough to climb or to walk through all the seven and my guy was skinny so <laughs> Yesterday, we really enjoy ourselves on the Kakum walkway. So, let's enjoy the rest of the videos. Consider subscribing to my channel, Baba Dem here. Let's keep going. Okay, so there is a skinny TV coming. <laughs> Very bulky guy. <laughs> Hi, Jerov. Yeah. Oh, skinny. <laughs> Me too, and if you when you remember, there will be a way to me. I'm a training. Infinite to me. And the best thing for our sons of brother. Ah, brah, that's just kidding. I'm a trouble. Mm -hmm. He's coming. Oh, you're cool. And the skinny is coming. <laughs> Okay, bro. And had enough for Hey, every year, be I'm about to be on suit. Uh -huh. I'm pretty. <laughs>